Welcome to day 48 of the Sacred Pause. Thank you to all of you for your presence during this incredible first 48 days of the Sacred Pause. And thank you to Mary Curtis for taking us to Mount Shasta yesterday, the place of the Earth's root chakra, as we went on another incredible journey. Today I wanted to start with a poem, which I wrote this afternoon. And I was told to turn inwards and to remember the silence. For there is a time to push, to be the maverick, to be breathless, to seize the moment, to raise the sails and to dance with the wind. There's always a time to shine, but there are times to anchor, to be still, to ponder the moment, to sit at the top of the breath and watch the sun rise. And in this place, We can remember the beauty of the stillness. We can glide through the nothingness. Enjoy the empty space. Bathe in the starlight. Wallow in the emptiness. Listen to the majesty of the silence. And allow the stars to realign thank you I wanted to turn our attentions to Father Sky and to astrology today because many people have been asking me why the energy feels so intense right now is it something individual Or is this a universal feeling? Well, the answer is it's both. Both individual and universal. The Mayans and the Inca, well, they knew in 2020 we would see the end of one era and the start of another. As we shift from the Abrahamic belief patterns of the half-God, half-human, like Jesus, to a new perspective of ultimate oneness, divine collaboration, where God is no longer the bearded chap in the heavens, but actually he's everywhere, or should I say she is everywhere, the Divine Mother in the earth, in the mountains, in the trees, in the stars, in the moment, and in us, in our hearts. Right now, May the 11th, 2020, for those listening in the future, we sit in the space between two worlds on the threshold which straddles two great earthly orders and that intensity which you're feeling is happening because in just three weeks four planets have either started or are about to begin retrograding That is happening right now. The first planet to start retrograding was Pluto on the 24th of April. And then on May the 11th today, for those listening in the present, Saturn went into retrograde. In two days' time, on the 13th of May, Venus will start to retrograde. 
and the day after, on the 14th of May, Jupiter will go into retrograde. What does this mean? I can hear you ask. Well, what it means is that when a planet turns retrograde, we as a species are meant to turn inwards, become introspective. As the poem I read hinted, the intensity you have felt is a message that this is not the time to push forward. Because in times like these, you can become very frustrated if you push. Your dream will happen, do not worry. But in good time, my friends. So please, over the next two weeks, please do not force it. Just allow and just be. It's not very often that four planets are retrograding at the same time, so this is very, very powerful. And if you start pushing, it can lead to mini cosmic combustions, or in human terms, we can have a bit of a meltdown, or at least it feels like that. So be aware that these feelings will come. Do not push. Perhaps lockdown has allowed you to focus on a project that you haven't had for a long time or you haven't done. Maybe it's something creative or a work project that's different to normal. Maybe a relationship which hadn't seemed so good is flowing beautifully again. But then, maybe in the last week or the last few days, something has shifted. And maybe it doesn't seem so beautiful right now. It's time to take another sacred pause, to listen with your heart, but this time not to act. It's an excellent time to review, to go over, to perfect, but do that internally and send it out to the world when your stars are realigned and the planets are smiling again. The stars can tell us so much more than we will ever know. They are our ultimate cosmic guide. Our galactic mirror. And so interesting that Saturn, the planet of discipline and restriction, well, when it entered Aquarius on the 25th of March, the whole world went into lockdown. And... Coincidence, perhaps, that on the 11th of May, today, when Saturn went into retrograde, lockdown in many countries was pulled back and the rules were relaxed. COVID-19 is in perfect synchronicity with the dance of our planets. This synchronicity has been going on forever. Astrology began 6,000 years ago, when man lived under the open skies and could not help but watch the planets and the stars dancing in the heavens. The Babylonians started to see repeating cycles above them. They noticed that all the cycles were linked with the changes on earth, and the correlations became part of their spirituality. They helped them understand the universe better and had very practical uses such as for farming. The stars and the planets brought order to the chaos. Mars brought them energy and assertiveness and aggression. Jupiter was jovial and amplified all that came near it. Saturn brought discipline. Venus brought love. Mercury messages from the gods and as the other planets slowly were discovered Uranus was always the disruptor the naughty boy in class Neptune brought spirituality and Pluto became the great revealer 
The Mayans took astrology and mathematics to new heights. And many structures around the world, from Stonehenge to the pyramids, were all aligned with the stars and the planets. My brothers and sisters, it is no coincidence we are here and we stand beneath the stars and the majesty of Father Sky each night, staring at an incredible miracle. Every child is born in the hour the celestial rays are in mathematical harmony with their individual karma. Your parents, your siblings, your children and your best friends all came into this world and your life for a reason. Because it's all written in the stars and you are here in this lifetime to bring light and to help the earth become a better place. It took me 40 years to accept it, but the position of the stars and the planets, aligned with our time and place of birth, genuinely provide a map to our destiny. The level at which we roll it out, though, depends largely on how we play the game. If we dance with spirit, just like you, if we embrace our darkness, if we seize the opportunities, and if we pause in the right moments, we will grow to be a living reflection of the galaxies and fulfill our potential. Many of history's great thinkers have been astrologists but the church's quest for control and Newtonian physics meant that astrology also had to take a sacred pause from the limelight but after COVID-19 just watch it will return and alongside quantum physics it will help to redefine our world Mary Curtis will take you tonight on a meditational journey to the planet of love. Yep, it's Venus tonight. So please open sacred space with Mary and send healing to the stars and to the planets and the galaxies. Please also send healing and hold space for Erica on behalf of our dear sister Teresa. Please also send great healing to everybody on the Sacred Paws and all their families in this time when the energies are intense.